Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two, the high-end tutorial of this beautiful Deepika Padukone look. If you haven't seen the first part, I'll link it below in the description. So let's jump right in. First, we're gonna start off with the Porefessional by Benefit, and I'm just gonna put this all over my face to prime, but mostly focusing in the middle of my face. So I just realized that I didn't have my high-end color correcting, which I usually use the Naked color correcting in the shade Peach. I just ran out, so I went back in with my Dirty Works Bye Bye Dark Circles concealer to color correct. But I will leave a link to the Naked color corrector in the description box below. After we're done color correcting, we're just going to blend out with a dry beauty blender. And just like the last tutorial, we want to have that glow from within look. So I'm taking my fingers and I'm dipping it into my Becca Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill highlighter and I'm putting that all in the high points of my face. And as you can see, it gives such a beautiful glow and I think this will look so great underneath the foundation. And then once again, just blend out with now a damp beauty blender. Next is foundation and I'm taking my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Syracuse and I'm just going to take a couple pumps and just put that all over my face using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. the damp beauty blender just to press it into the skin and make the foundation look as flawless as possible. Next I'm going to conceal and I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium Dark One Biscuit and just like in the last tutorial because Deepika has such a beautiful glow we want to bring all the light to the center of our face so I'm concealing underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, the forehead and my chin and also I'm going to spot conceal wherever I need a little bit extra coverage. <laughs> Then once again, I'm going to blend out with my beauty blender. And I actually don't have a high-end setting powder, so I'm just going back in with my Soap and Glory translucent powder to set my concealer in place. Lord dark brown pomade to make those eyebrows on fleek girl Then we're going to set those eyebrows in place with my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Espresso. Now I want coffee. <laughs> Lol, yes, I now realize that I'm holding the bottle backwards. But I'm going in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. And I'm taking just the tiniest amount and I'm putting that over my eyelids to prime. <laughs> Eyeshadows. So I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette 
and I'm going to be taking my Sephora Pro Blending Number 27 brush, and I'm going to be taking the color Antique Bronze and putting that all over my lid. Then I'm going to take my Sephora Pro Crease Brush number 10 and I'm going to go in with the color Cypress Umber all over to blend out the antique bronze but staying below my crease just so you can have that smokiness but it's a very subtle monochromatic look because the smokiness as the last tutorial was will be coming through in that bottom lash line again. <laughs> take my elf defining eye brush and I'm going to use that to go back in with cypress umber all on the bottom lash line to really give that smoky look and finish off that monochromatic eye. Tarte Precision Longwear Liner, and I'm sorry I didn't film a close-up of it, but I will link it in the description below. But I didn't film an eyeliner look in the last tutorial because her eyeliner was not the focus of her look. But basically I just wanted the lash line to really pop, so I'm just blinking and dabbing it into my upper waterline. <laughs> mascara and I'm using the Benefit Their Real and I'm using this to really put volume at the base of the lashes and then fanning it out to get the lengthened look. <laughs> Lighting. So I'm going to be taking my Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator Palette and I'm going to be taking the middle color first in Gilded Honey and I'm going to just press that into the skin in the same places that we did the concealing at the high point. Right underneath the Gilded Honey, I'm going to be going in with Ballerina, and this is just a highlight to kind of mimic a contour. Take a second to just revel in the glow, and then we're just going to blend out with a beauty blender. for lip color I'm going to be going in with Urban Decay's Vice Lipstick in the shade Bruise and yes I know it's not a red orange but like I said these are the colors that I wear and this is my emulation of Deepika's look. <laughs> guys i hope you enjoyed this little series of deepa capata cones maxim 2017 look make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on instagram at kezia matthew beauty thanks for watching guys bye